Kaya, the Enchanted Bride. Once upon a time, in a vibrant village nestled among the rolling hills of West Africa, there lived a young girl named Kaya. She was known far and wide for her breathtaking beauty. Her eyes sparkled like the night sky, and her skin glowed like the golden sun that bathed the land. Kaya's beauty was so extraordinary that many young men from the neighboring villages sought her hand in marriage. Yet Kaya had a spirit as wild as the untamed rivers that meandered through the lush forests. She was fiercely independent and refused every suitor who came knocking on her father's door. Each time, with a mischievous smile, she would politely dismiss them, claiming she had yet to meet a man who could match her allure. Her parents, worried about their daughter's future, pleaded with her to choose a suitor and settle down. But Kaya would have none of it. She believed herself to be destined for something greater, a love that transcended the mortal realm. One day, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting hues of orange and pink across the sky, Kaya decided to take a walk in the nearby forest. The air was thick with the sweet scent of blooming flowers, and the trees whispered secrets to the wind. She felt a peculiar energy in the air, as if the spirits were trying to communicate with her. As she strolled deeper into the heart of the forest, Kaya came across a clearing bathed in silver moonlight. In the middle stood a figure, a man unlike any she had ever seen. His skin shimmered like the moonlit river, and his eyes held a depth that seemed to reach into the very soul of the earth. Who are you? Kaya asked, her voice barely a whisper. The man smiled, a smile that held the wisdom of ages. I am Osei, the spirit of the forest. I have watched you, Kaya, and I have heard your heart's desires. Kaya, intrigued by the mysterious figure, felt a warmth radiating from within. Ose spoke of a love that went beyond the mortal realm, a love that embraced the spirits of the earth and sky. He told her of a world where beauty was not just skin deep, but resonated from the essence of one's spirit. The young girl, captivated by Ose's words, felt a connection that surpassed the boundaries of the physical world. In that enchanted clearing, surrounded by the whispers of the forest, Kaya realized that her heart had found its match. Word spread through the village about Kaya's encounter with Osei, the spirit of the forest. Whispers turned into rumors, and soon the villagers were buzzing with excitement and skepticism. Some scoffed at the idea of a mortal girl falling in love with a spirit, while others marveled at the magic that seemed to envelop Kaya. As the days passed, Kaya continued to meet Osei in the moonlit clearing. They shared laughter, stories, and dreams that transcended the ordinary. Kaya's parents, initially concerned, witnessed the transformation in their daughter. The light in her eyes was more radiant than ever, and her heart seemed to dance to a melody only she could hear. The village, torn between disbelief and awe, awaited the unfolding of Kaya's destiny. The day arrived when Osei, in his ethereal form, appeared before the villagers. His presence bathed the entire village in a warm, otherworldly glow. I have come to ask for Kaya's hand in marriage, Osei declared, his voice echoing through the hearts of the people. The village elders, sensing the sincerity and magic in Osei's request, gathered to discuss the unprecedented union. After much deliberation, they agreed to the union, realizing that love had the power to bridge the gap between the mortal and spirit worlds. The wedding day dawned with the sun painting the ski in hues of pink and gold. The entire village, adorned in vibrant colors, gathered to witness the union of Kaya and Osei. The air buzzed with excitement, and the spirits of the forest seemed to dance in celebration. Just as the ceremony reached its pinnacle, a sudden gust of wind swept through the clearing and the villagers gasped in amazement. Osei, the spirit of the forest, transformed into a mortal man, his features mirroring the beauty of the moonlit night. The village erupted in cheers, celebrating the union that had defied the boundaries between worlds. Kaya, now standing beside her earthly husband, beamed with a joy that resonated from the depths of her being. 
As the couple walked hand in hand, the villagers realized that love, in all its magical forms, had the power to transcend the ordinary. Kaya and Osei's union became a timeless tale, a reminder that sometimes the most extraordinary love stories are written in the language of the heart, where beauty lies not just in appearance, but in the soul's connection with the enchanting mysteries of life. And so, the village continued to thrive, forever touched by the tale of the girl who found her love in the spirit of the forest.